Hey YouTube, Rain here, coming at you with another draft. So we have a Mistfire Weaver in this pack, um, a Creeping Chill, Treasure Cruise, Woolly Loxton, Salt Road Patrol, and a Kill Shot. Definitely want the Mistfire Weaver. It's a really good flyer, has a really good effect. Um, If I wasn't taking Mistfire Weaver out of this pack, I would be taking Salt Road Patrol or Kill Shot. Probably Kill Shot. But Mistfire Weaver is enough of a really good card that I'm just very happy taking it. Passing a Soul Tie card and, and a blue card, and good white cards as well. There's a Triland, and I know I have a friend um, who's very big into the five color control sort of thing, but I am not. So I'm looking at this pack, I'm seeing a Bringlow, and a Tranquil Cove, and a Singing Bell Strike. Bell Strike might be a better follow up to our first pick, but Bringlow is better removal, in my opinion. Um, this card just kills a lot of things. I think it's better than taking either one of these by a little bit. And I'm kind of not tempted by the Triland that's not in any of my colors. Cool, this is kind of the direction I wanted to go, so I don't mind forcing it a little early here. I could also take the Snowhorn Rider since it's also in the two colors I've taken. But I think Jeskai Charm is good enough to move towards Jeskai over to Mur. Though there's some good green in this pack. I did pass some good white cards. But I am passing really good signals at this point to kind of lead me to end up with a good Jeskai deck. Alright, so notable cards, Horde Ambusher, Anok Bondkin, Snow Horn Rider, and Windscarred Crack. Also Ruthless Ripper is pretty late, but it's not in my colors. I wouldn't mind the crack, but I think the cards still in this pack are good enough that I have to consider them. If I'm a hyper-aggressive deck, this Horde Ambusher is really good, and Jeskai Charm naturally leads myself to be more aggressive, as well as aggressive flyers. Bondkin is one of the better cards in this format, and if I'm looking to be a little slower, this card is just phenomenal. Um, but I really love the effect that Horde Ambusher has, especially in an aggressive deck. Um, this guy just does so much work. Aerostorm is a decent finisher for those decks. Singing Bell Strike is nice at taking out a blocker. And I think is a little better than Aerostorm. You can usually pick up an Aerostorm. It's a little harder if people know what they're doing to pick up a Bell Strike. Briber's Purse isn't the worst. But I think I do want the Bell Strike over the Aerostorm. Bloodfire Expert and Valley Dasher are both decent attackers in aggressive decks. I'm looking to be kind of a Jeskai Prowess sort of deck. So Mentor is a little better in my deck than it normally would be. But I still think the quality of a good 2-drop, especially one that pretty much automatically gets damaged through, is better than this. And yet again, you can this is a little more replaceable, I think. Ooh, bodes well for me that a Winter Flame made it this far. I wouldn't mind picking up a Leaping Master at this point. This card is really good. Just as a 2 mana 2 one, I rarely use the flying thing, but if you just need to close out a game, he can actually do an okay job at that. But Winter Flame is just insane to see this late. 
Ooh, my God. Three cards I want out of this pack. The Horde Ambusher, yet again, is just reigning supreme. Taking out blockers is just so good. Axe is a two drop. Axe is a really good three drop. Senna Drift is really good too. And Leaving Master again, a card I would like to have. But it's got to be Horde Ambusher here. Blue Red Splash White deck. Yeah, I can't imagine this starting out much better than this. There's a Creeping Chill. There's a Howl of the Horde. Which, no surprise at Wield, I'm just taking a look. Yeah, it's still just way too slow for this deck. Creeping Chill is just really good. Um, can't really get Ferocious off reliably. This actually is pretty good against me. Supposedly, like in the long term, I will have some one power creature, one toughness creatures, but Creeping Chill, awesome card. Singing Bell Strike Table, absolute dream come true right there. Have really high spell quality, primarily two colors. Just need to pick up some creatures. Hopefully, some wind scouts, some good flyers. Um, maybe a flying crane technique. I wouldn't mind it, even if it's a bit slow. Trumpet blast, act of treason. Both will go well on this deck. There's a universe where I splash black, but there's also a universe where I play We Fate. I think both of them are relatively unlikely. I think splashing black has a higher chance of happening. Um, not citing these yeah, yeah, words. English just got hard there for a second, but push comes to shove, those two cards were worthless to me. Glacial Stalker might not be. Um, just going to take the banner since it's playable and the other two aren't. Going to take out the Highland game. Pretty awesome that that made it that late. Means there will be less decks that are prepared for me. As they will be missing two drops. I could take this Rugged Highlands. This Bloodfire Expert. I store this creeping chill. If I'm planning on splashing green, this could be nice, especially since I have like a teamer ascendancy in this pack. Actually, I could just take the ascendancy. Giving all my guys haste is pretty insane. It might just be better than the charm right now. Yeah, I think it is better than the charm right now. Even though Jessica is more set up for an aggressive plan. Uh, I really kind of don't want to be Tamur. I kind of just want to be Jessica, but this is really powerful. I think I just have to take it. I'm not really passing anything. Oh, let's not take the dead drop there. On color fixing versus a decent creature. This is like super on color, regardless of what I do. This is going to be in my deck. But there's a seeker of the way. Ugh. Seeker's a really powerful two drop. And blue and red were making it pretty late. I'm actually going to go greedy and take the Seeker. Um, they may be wrong, but given the fact that things like Winterflame were making it to pick 10, I have to assume that I'm actually going to get... Crap, I have to restart Magic Online. you got to be kidding me. Well, I did reserve that Seeker of the Way, so thank God for that. Hopefully I'll be back in to get my next pick, otherwise I might be screwed.
Good old Magic Online. Still recording. Come on, load the draft. Okay, it gave me an erase, right? Yeah, I think I missed a pick. Erase was the last pick. That really sucks. I wish I knew I meant what I was missing out on here. Oh, it gave me a race instead of the uh God, that sucks. Thought I reserved the uh, two two seeker of the way. Well, that puts Tamura ascendancy back on the table. Hopefully, we're not crashing again. Leaping master is decent. Chill's pretty good, sandbar's okay, but I think I'm definitely just going to take the two mana guy. Horde ambushers are more of a three drop anyway, honestly. Canyon Lurkers isn't the worst, but Valley Dasher is better. Um, this can kind of surprise people and get in five damage, but I definitely want to just be super aggressive, and Valley Dasher does that better. Though not if I'm playing Tamura Ascendancy. This could be a lot better than Valley Dasher in that case. But I still think I'm going to lean towards Jeskai. Ooh. Spicy, spicy pack. Weapon Master is phenomenal. And Hordling Outburst is also phenomenal. This is actually pretty hard. As weird as it is to say, Glacial Stalker actually kind of does a bad job of imitating Weapon Master, but a job of imitating Weapon Master. This makes any Trumpet Blast I pick up, which I will want, just insane. And it's on one of my primary two colors. I don't have to worry about casting it. Awesome. I mean, this card is a little slow, but it can hit players and be used as a finisher can also just hit creatures, kill any blockers, draw cards. I mean, I would like a Tranquil Cove, but Master of the Way, I might just be two color at this point, so easy force away. Card's really, really great. I'm a little low on creatures. I do think Creeping Chill's a better card, but Bloodfire Expert is not much worse, and I need creatures. Can't really see playing any of these, so I'm just going to take the one I hate the most. Can't really see playing any of these either, so I'm just going to take the two drop. Same with this pack. There's an actual chance that I play the sandbar though. A very small chance, but a chance nonetheless. You know, I might play that too. I definitely play it over Glacial Stalker. There's a chance I'm just two colors as well. You know, I'm just going to take the land. If somebody wants to play Brave the Sands, good for them. And just take a look at my creature curve for a second here. Pretty much where I want it to be. Definitely want some wind scouts. Maybe a two drop to replace the sandbar. A four drop or two. A misfire weaver would be nice. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Not considering the spell snatcher. It's just not aggressively aligned the way I want it to be. Considering the Swift Spear, actually. I have a lot of 2-drop spells. 
just a lot of spells in general. Um, could wield this Bell Strike or this Force Away. It's actually really not out of the question. And this way I can start getting the damage through early, start threatening trade-ups with 2-2s. Two Quiet Contemplation would also be really good at my deck too. And there's just five really great cards and two cards I would consider for this deck. Definitely think I'm taking Swift Spear. This is like the Swift Spear deck. That's actually kind of cool. Mind Swipe, normally I hate this card. But oh boy, it can actually be a decent finisher. Especially since I'm just red blue. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Definitely try it out. I haven't played with it before, and I've theorized a lot with this, and I've theorized that it's good in aggressive decks that need a way to close out the game, and it's okay. It's not really good in any other case, and this is like the situation to try it out, so we'll see how it goes. I don't like passing these two, as I want them both but I can kind of make do without another Force Away. I do really need a Trumpet Blast, though. I expect it might wheel. I'll take the Force Away. Pretty easy pick here. Cancels slow, but actually okay. But Force Away is just much better. I'm a little low on the creature count, though. And you can do a lot worse than Summit Prowler. 11 creatures is a little unacceptable. Oh, 12 creatures. Yeah. I'm going to pick up a creature or two in the next little bit. I can definitely see that. Force Away is just that much better. Ooh. Ooh. Difficult decisions to the max. I have a one drop, actually. This War Name Aspirant could come in as a 3 2 on turn 2 and just wreck people for days. Heart Piercers, very, very, very strong as well. Just kill a Morph guy, come in as a 2-3. Strangely enough, I think in this deck, Aspirant is better than Heart Piercer by a little bit. Oh, that's really tough. Mystic is actually, like, being a little overshadowed here, but oh boy, I would like one for my deck. <laughs> but jeez. I want both of these really badly. I wish they were in like pack, like not in the same pack. I could take them both. But I think I just want the aspirant a little more than the heart piercer. Uh, this could be totally wrong, but I'm gonna take it. Ooh, and it unsorted all my cards. Act is good in my deck. Stroke would not be the worst. Crag would not be the worst. But I'm going to take Act here. Awesome. Three mana, three threes. Sing my tune for days. Trumpet Blast with two Hordling Outburst. Swift Spear. This deck in general. Insane. Like, there was a there was a water roll in that pack. I can't even consider it. It's too slow for this deck. Elder's good in this deck. Aerialist is not the worst at finishing a game. But I'm definitely just going to take the Elder here. Can't really trigger Ferocious, or this would be good. It's between these two. I think the Elder's just a little better. Contemplation's actually really good in this deck. And Bloodfire Expert is too. If I don't really need the creatures, I have 15 at this point. I could take a speculative, really powerful card, or just a good one in certain matchups. Or I could take, like, these generic creatures. This one's pretty good, though. I'm going to take the Quiet Contemplation. Another Trumpet Blast. Actually happy to play two. Not really worried about any of these cards. Gonna take the Summit Prowler. 
Let me take the bell strike. So, we're playing blue red nuts aggro. As it's nuts that I got this deck. Awesome. There's a chance I don't play Master of the Way. It's better in slightly slower decks. If my hand's totally empty, this gets a lot worse. But I'm probably still playing it. I don't think I'm playing the Charm at this point. I just got enough insane blue-red by itself that adding the inconsistency of playing white sources is not worth it. Double force away, triple bell strike. Probably not playing the sandbar, but I'll put it to the side for now. Shit. I swear to god, if I don't get to submit a deck because of this Magic the Gathering restarting nonsense, I will be submitting this video to MTGO. And I'll be a little upset. Sorry about that, guys. Yet again, if I had a pause, I would pause it here. Gonna have to be a little faster about my cuts, because I am on less time than I normally would be. Just put in all the blue-red cards. Sort them out, not by color, but by CMC. Still have seven minutes, so it's not ridiculous. But I do want to be a little faster just in case it closes out on me again. Could actually use another Bloodfire Expert, so I picked one up. I think I want red early, and it's pretty important, so I'm going to play Master over Sandbar. I have 16 creatures, so I could cut one more. Glacial Stalker seems like the worst one to me. It's just a little too slow and a little not aggressive. <laughs> it's not the worst, but it's just too slow. This is probably the amount of creatures I want to play with Double Trumpet Blast. May not play two. Probably will. Quiet Contemplation actually seems really nice. Creeping Chill 2 targets, Act of Treason, tap a second blocker, Winter Flame, tap a guy, tap another guy, deal 2 damage to a guy, Trumpet Blast, tap a blocker. Hugely tempo based. So actually this Master of the Way seems... I know I hate cutting it, but it seems a little too slow. No, the spring low can't hit players. They might, neither of them might make it here, but yeah, I don't think either of them do. 
I want to be emptying my hand as fast as possible, so this is probably not hitting for as much as it normally would, and it also costs 5, and the spring low can't hit players. And in a naturally aggressive deck, it's less about value, which these two have, and more about just forcing a shit ton of damage through and winning the game. I have to decide which of my spells are the worst spells. Nah, no, Singing Bell Strike just seems insane in this deck. So just Force Away, so just Chill, Act, Winter Flame. Might cut one Trumpet Blast. There's a chance that I don't end up with a board that's really good with Trumpet Blast, so it ends up being a little worse. Right now playing 14 lands, I do want to play 15, especially with a Mind Swipe. Oh, well I want to play 16, that's right. <laughs> Cut two cards. Contemplation might be a little slow. This does really feel like the Contemplation deck, but I am cutting another spell out of this deck. God, okay, it's crashing again. Yippee, I have four minutes to make a deck. And I have to remember everything I cut. I have to do it really quickly here. So I'm going to cut the Contemplation and probably going to cut the Canyon Lurkers. Or the Summit Prowler. I'm going to cut the Summit Prowler. No, with Trumpet Blast, I do want to play as many creatures as I can. Alright, I will be as patient as possible while Magic Online is loading. So if I convert a mana cost, take out Sandbar. Contemplation, one of the Trumpet Blasts, Bring Low, Glacial Stalker, Summit Prowler, and and what do I want to cut last? Elder. Now it seems so good with double force away, triple bell strike, creeping chill. Um, act might be a little. Oh, swift kick doesn't belong in this deck. Cool. So, got the deck built. Do want to play more mountains than islands, and that does seem like the right ratio, especially since I have double hordling outburst. So I'm gonna submit the deck. On the off chance that I crash again, I do just want to have a deck to play. Now I can talk a bit about Second Trumpet Blast versus Mindswipe. And Quiet Contemplation versus Mindswipe. Um, and Summit Prowler, potential, potentially, versus Mindswipe. Mindswipe, I feel like, is a actually good card. Um, if I get flooded out, or if I just end up stopping my aggression because they stabilize, they just play a spell, and I get to burn them out. Um, Canyon Lurkers is like a kind of lava axe with upside, is what I consider it, but most of the time it's not great. Actually I'm going to put in a Summit Prowler for it. The upside of them not blocking the Canyon Lurkers is higher, but against aggressive decks, the option of blocking becomes a lot less of an option because their life total is being threatened. Summit Prowler has three toughness, which is important, has an aggressively costed body, which is also important. It doesn't fly like my other four drops, but it does do some work. And this way I am playing 
14 creatures considering the Hordling Outbursts creatures. However, they are also spells in terms of my Jeskai Elder and Monastery Swift Spear. Leaping Master seems like my weakest creature right now, or Summit Prowler. Cool. Alright, time to begin. <laughs> 